Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to the latest episode of Peace of Mind. And as you can see, I put in an archway. I was going to put in a wider archway, but I couldn't quite get it to work. So I've got this, but it looks really nice. So we've got the arch, I've put the wall up across, put in an archway, got my bedroom. Out here is going to be the living area and we are going to do our work on um, cooking for blockheads today. So if you remember last week, at the end of the last episode, I did the big reveal of the house and it was a bit foggy and looked a bit rubbish. But let's go back across the pond now that it's daytime and not foggy and have another look. And that's my house. Which I have to admit, it's pretty nice. I did the roof using the Architecture Craft mod, using the, the blocks that they have there. And actually, if we do a quick nerd pull up to the roof, because it's kind of hard to see because it's all black and it kind of sucks all the, all the colour out of it. But let's go a quick couple more. You can't, well, it's, the roof is smooth. So it's a smooth roof. At the bottom, I have a roof overhang, so it gives you that little lip. And to get the corners, there were um, special blocks that they had to give you the corners. So you have that nice roof looking shape. And it was pretty, it was pretty painless, really, to get up. It was just, it just took a long time, obviously. But it was, it was pretty simple and I like it. I like how it's turned out. I really do like how it's turned out. So today, cooking for blockheads, let's collect. Let's collect some of this and put more to grow because we're going to need sugar and stuff. And actually we should also look at starting a kitchen garden because you have Pam's Harvest Craft in here and you have loads of um loads of different foods, foods that are not in vanilla. And I mean you've probably seen what the sandwiches, although the sandwiches are from um Tiny Progressions are not Pam's. But Pam's is like the go to food mod in Minecraft. Everybody Everybody uses Pam's. So let's have a look in our book. Quests. Uh, farming and cooking. Cooking for blockheads. Okay, we need the Cooking for Blockheads 2 book. Right, so how do you make that? We need to craft a book. I remember that much. Cooking. Okay, the recipe book, you just need to literally cook a book. And then for the second book, we need some diamonds and stuff, which we have. So, that's the one thing I didn't remember to bring upstairs, because I went exploring, I found a mesa, and brought back lots of terracotta, because I seem to remember we needed terracotta. But I don't know if I have... Oh, there you go. We have a book. And let's cook the book. That never makes that never fails to make me smile that you have to cook a book to get the first one. Okay, come on, come on, cut that sit. So we've got the first bit. And then we need uh where's the diamonds? I think in this one. We need two diamonds. We need two crafting tables. So make those. Okay, cookbook. Now that's the first one. The second one is that. And that should give us our completion. And we get a loot chest. The next thing is, is to make the kitchen. So we need an oven, a fridge, a sink, 
kitchen counter and a cooking table. All right, let's put our, no, we need, we'll need our cookbook because you need it for one of them. And let's take these out. Let's open our loot chest as well. See what we got. Our storage upgrades. Oh, not bad. 32 times base. Oh, that is very good. Wow, we've got a whole stack of them. That is awesome. That is awesome. So I can go and put one. Actually, let me. No, I want one. Go and put it on our. Um, for the cobble gen. That's on. Are you going up? Are the numbers changing? Yes, they are. It's going up. I think if you press shift, yes. Stack limit, 100, no, 1,024 times 32. So, yeah, a lot. And I'm pretty sure if I put a whole stack, if I put the whole stack in there, that would be like infinite, almost an infinite capacity. Okay, we've got that. Um, so we want the cooking table. Do we need stone? We need stone. I didn't do that. Do I have any cobble up here? Oh, I do have stone. Awesome. Okay, so the cooking table. Three stone, some terracotta and the cooking for blockheads book. The oven, we need a furnace. Do I have any cobble? No, there is cobble in here, but I need to chisel it back to plain cobble. No. There you go. All right, so let's make a furnace. What else? And we need black stained glass. And to get black stained glass, we need glass around something black. Do we have any ink sacks? We have squid. Where's my sword? Actually, you know what I wanted to make for a long time and I didn't get around to it? Is a frying pan. And I know you're thinking, Shane, what on earth are you talking about? But you can make a frying pan in Pams. Not in Pams, in Tinkers. And it's the most hilarious thing. All right, part builder. I need a bit of cobble. Uh, did I leave note there? Okay, we've got that. I want to make it out of iron. So we need a little bit of gold we have a little bit of gold don't we i really there's one i need another bit i really i keep saying that every week <laughs> but we really need to look at storage see what the storage options are because it's a bit rubbish do i only have one piece of gold no 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 I thought I had more gold. Oh, man. Well, I've got swords. But it's not the same thing. I want a frying pan. Um, we have clay in here, don't we? Gravel. I think I might have taken out some of the clay. Or a lot of the clay. This looks like it might be clay. Yes, it is. All right, let's stand on top here and then we don't get the whole slowness because you're underwater thing. And. Really? Okay. Swim forward. That's it. Let's put this down. Right, what else do we need to get rid of? Um, 
um, um, um, um. Pumpkin seeds. Don't really need those. Right, we have everything. Yeah, don't need pumpkin seeds because we have pumpkins across there. And what we got? Oh yes, I wanted to make a make a clay cast. Yeah, da, 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 da. where's all our clay? One, two. I can't remember how many bits we need. We need to put that. Oh, you know what? There's probably gold in this chest. Uh, no, there isn't actually. Okay. Right, let's put you in here. And then take some of the iron. And let's smelt up the iron too. Okay. pour that out all right let's smelt this now come on I wish there was a way to make things smelt fast. there might be actually a way to make things smelt faster I don't know never really thought about it can you make a smeltery any hotter than it is I'm sure one of you wonderful people will let me know Right, and pour out our pan cast. Come on, that's it. Good, good. And that's in our tray. Let's put back. And da -da dum 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 dum. Let's put that there for now. Put our ingot cast. Turn that on and let that do its thing. And now we can create the rest of our pan. Tool forge, we need. Oh, it's just the pan and the stick, which is fine. Part builder. I don't want to make the stick out of. out of um, stone because it gives it a minus 50 durability. Which is a bit rubbish. At least if we use wood, it will give it the ecological trait. So then it would um, repair itself over time in your in your um while it's in your inventory. All right, just throw those out for a second. Um, tool forge, pan. fry pan okay and we have three modifiers what should we call it oh I don't know uh, I don't know I'll think of I'll think of something because we can always name it later but basically when you have it in your hand you right click it will hold it will draw back and then when you let go it will hit something but it gives you a really satisfying clang when it does it and sometimes when you hit um animals it will cook them so then you get a chance of getting you know like steak or something here's our first there you go and it just it, it's just so brilliant i love it did we get uh we no we just got plain mutton we didn't get anything that's cooked don't want melon seeds either But you do have the option that sometimes it will it will cook whatever whatever it hits but it's it's a fun tool to use i mean obviously you're not going to take it into battle but it's a fun thing to use right let's go and offload some of this stuff 
Okay, put the food in there. Why am I walking around with ender pearls? And a chest. Okay, let's just take those out for a second. And let's do what we were supposed to be doing, which is killing some squid. Okay, did we get anything? Because it killed it one shot. Yes, we got three ink sacks. Awesome. Did it give us any calamari? Oh, it did. So from Pam's, if you when you kill squid, you can there's a chance to get calamari from it. Right, so we wanted black stained glass. So we just want one. And we want the oven. Where's oh we put oh good grief. We did put it out down across the across the pond. Let's go and get it. I should build like a bridge over the pond. Although I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I'll think about that. Okay, let's try this again. Third time's the charm. Right, so we have our oven. What else do we need? Let's go back upstairs. And we can put down our cooking table. And where's our oven? We could put down the oven. What's the next thing we need? Uh, fridge kitchen counter and sink oh we need a bucket of water but we'll get that in a second all right the fridge all right so the fridge we need an iron no we don't need that we need an iron door we need um a chest How many fridges did it want? One or two? Two. Right. So, fridge. That's one. Where's the other? There it is. Can put those back. That's two fridges. And let's put the fridge in the corner. And as you could, this forms a multi block, by the way, so they're all connected. And they also integrate with Pam stuff as well, as I will show you in a little bit once we finish making everything. Right, let's put that there. Sink. Yes, we need a bucket of water. Do I have any buckets up here? Yep, I do. Let's go get some water. The kitchen sink gives us an infinite water source, so we would never need to go back outside and get any water. And you, and you can hook it up to some mods when they need an infinite water source as well. Okay, kitchen sink. Finding that mesa was was inspired it was awesome because then that does that means i didn't have to go and cook up a whole set of clay to get terracotta blocks and also these are dyeable so you don't have to leave them as brown you can color them whatever color you want and we get back our bucket uh what else was it there was a kitchen counter i believe just the kitchen counter sink Cooking table, kitchen counter. Don't we have another chest? Didn't we have an honor? Because we made two. We made two fridges. So this is the basics for your pan, not pan for your cooking for blockheads kitchen. 
I have no idea why there is a fish in the sink. Uh, I don't know. But that is a glitch that always happens. You put down the sink and you end up with a, with a fish in it. But it's all connected. And you can use all of the counters and the fridge to store food. So you put the calamari in the fridge. You can store anything in there. You don't have to. It's just kind of like, you know, it's nice nice for your immersion to do that. Let's see if we can make some more kitchen counters and also to collect whatever we want. Oh, another kitchen counter. It's awesome. We need to make the Pam stuff as well. So that's the next thing. Um, can you... Can you turn this? I wonder if you can use the architect's hammer to turn it. No. Okay, I'll have to rearrange the kitchen at some point. But we need to make Pam stuff. So we need, let's see. At Pam. Oh, and, and of course there's loads and loads all right I know one of them is a skillet which we have um, um, a pot a saucepan mixing bowl pot All right, to narrow it down, let's put at Pam, no space, at Pam Pot, and that's that. So pot, a saucepan, at Pam, sauce. There's our saucepan. And what was the other thing? Mixing bowl. MIX. We have the mixing bowl. Let's put the stuff there. And the last thing I think was a tool rack. All right. Uh, oh, did I? No. Tool rack. It's that not a Pam's thing? Tool. Doesn't like tool rack. Oh, it's for cooking for blockheads. Okay. And we're missing iron nuggets. Alright, let's put a stack of iron in here. And the door. Right, tool rack. Where are you, tool rack? And let's put the wool in there. Okay, so the tool rack. Now, if I remember correctly, if you right click on the oven, you get these slots. And you put the corresponding PAMs. Um, thing utensil in it skillet that was the mixing bowl where's the mixing bowl and then you can oh it appears on top of your your cooker and you can use it to cook things we need to put some coal in there as well so we can use the oven and here is where you can see all the things that we have so we have calamari we can make cooked calamari we have fresh water from the sink we have raw, f raw fish. Must be from the sink. Oh, you can make calamari. No, you can make raw fish from calamari. And we have salt from a pot and fresh water. But the more things that you put into your kitchen cabinets, then the more things you can cook. 
on your cooking table. Although why they called it a cooking table and not a stove, I don't know. But here is where you can bake things as well. So let's claim our loot chest. And we need more tools. Okay, we can do that as well. Let's open our loot chest. Would help if I put it on my hot bar. An enchantment table and an anvil. Very nice. We can put that downstairs. Well, actually, we'll just put it in a in a in a thing for now. We don't need to put that down. Where's the anvil? There's the anvil. So we can no, we can keep the terracotta because I think we still need it. And let's make the rest of our stuff. Okay, so a cutting board, a juicer, bakeware, water and pe water and pestle. Cutting. Oh, I'm missing those. I wonder if I had those upstairs. Because it was getting sticks and I didn't know I had sticks. So it must have been in the... Yeah, it's in the chest. So in cutting board... A mortar and pestle. A juicer. Not the tiny progressions, the Pam's juicer. We need a stone pressure plate. A stone pressure plate is that. And the juicer is that. And what have I forgotten? We've done the cutting boards, mortar and pestle. Bakeware. No, um, I didn't want to do that. Right. Bakeware, bakeware, baked beans, bakeware. Oh, we need some more clay. Okay. Let's go put this in our smeltery. Really? Right, we have two blocks put that to smelt that's going to keep grinding it out until we need it I want to make some more chests what kind of wood do we have we can use the no we can use the spruce And then I can make some more. Oh, I keep doing that. That's annoying because you can lay it flat on the count on something, obviously. Um, bring the logs around. I don't know which mod does that, but it's an awesome mod. Really? You're going to be thing about it. Right, let's see if we've got any clay bricks. Eight. Perfect. Let's go back upstairs. Um, bakeware. That's everything that we need. Claim another loot chest. Oh, a toaster and a cow in a jar. What else do we need to do? Okay, well, we've done that. Under pressure. Oh, that's got to be a squeezer. 
Well, we have to find a cow to do cow in a jar. How can we make a lead? Or do you have some kind of mob imprisonment? Mob? In... No. Leash? Is it a leash? Oh, a lead pet. Actually, we might be able to... We can make this. All right, let's empty out our inventory. Uh, get rid of the terracotta, because I don't think we need any more terra... Um, well, actually, we do, because I want to make some more kitchen counters. But we need an emerald. Take two emeralds. What else do we need? Um, a diamond. Piece of gold and string 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 um i have string because i got tons from when we went looking we went looking in that dungeon place there you go, and some string. Let's take you, go, throw you there. Right, throw you there. Lead pet, and its favorite food is string, which we have. Ah, leash your potential. So let's see if we can find a cow. Huh. You're supposed to right click to tame and leash a mob. Uh. There's lots of sheep around here. I don't know about cows though. Oh, there you go. Cow. Nice. Are you coming, cow? Yeah, come this way. Are you stuck on the... Ah, good grief. Um, what can we get rid of? You're stuck on... Right, let's put the lead back on you. It's going to take a little... Maybe if I use the fry pan instead. That might go a little bit faster. No, not really. Really, we should be using a sword, but I don't have any swords on me. Come on, come on, come on. Quick. Right. right come on, cow. You are coming. Good, good. Where is the house? Now I'm totally lost. It's around this way. Because there are the um, maple trees or whatever that's next to my house. Okay. Let us put you in here.
right, so then you can't get away. Um, how do I break the lead on this thing now? That's a very good question. How do you get... I don't know. No. I don't know how you break the lead. Oh, it's broken now. Oh, I've gone out the wrong door. For a minute I was like, where's the cow gone? Where's the hole gone? I don't know. Oh my god, I keep doing that. It's annoying. Alright, there's our cow. So he's safe for now. And cow in the jar is... I give up. Alright, cow... Cow in a jar. He needs a milk jar and an anvil. And you put the cow on top of the milk jar, drop the anvil on top of the cow, and it squashes it. So a milk jar. Oh, we need... Okay. The only thing we're missing is a bucket of milk. Right, we got our bucket of milk. Right, so we've got our milk jar. Where's where did we put the anvil that we got earlier? It's in this chest, I believe. Yes it is. Um, what did I do with the... Let's move that out of the way. Okay, let the dirt begin. Because, you know, I will be... Mistakes will be made. That's all I'm saying, mistakes will be made. Um... No, sorry, cow. I didn't mean to... Oh, good God. Didn't mean to hurt you. No, that's not what I'm... That's not what I meant to do. Right, cow, you go... I put that there nudge the cow that way right um, terracotta and then drop the anvil on the cow there you go did it so now we have cow in a jar and it will start producing milk so you have an infinite source of milk. And of course now we have... Uh... Let's turn your chest. Um, let's switch these round. I really should clear my inventory. I know. I can hear everybody yelling at me to clear my inventory. But... Right. We've done that. Now we need to get rid... Oh, I put all the dirt in there. 
Do they have exchanges in this? I hope so. Exchanges are... It, it's a mod where you can exchange one thing for another thing. So, for example, I with an exchanger, I can change all these terracotta for dirt as long as you have everything you need in your inventory. So I'll have to look at that at some point. Right, so we've got the cow in the jar and a toaster. I think we need a lava bucket for that. Okay, toaster. Yeah. Right, iron trap door, which we have. What was the other thing? A button. Oh. A button, that's stone. Do we not have any... I thought we had stone. Or did I... Oh no, it's in my offhand. It's a good thing I realised that before I went down to the other, the other um, chest looking for stone. Right. Right. So we need to get a bucket of lava. Go get a bucket of lava, let's make this toaster, and then we can finish the episode. Right, I'm not hitting the door with that bucket, because knowing me, I will make the lava just flow all over the place and burn down the house. And we have a toaster. Right, let's make a couple more kitchen counters. I don't want the corner one, I want the normal ones. I can make two, which is fine. Next level toast and milk. <laughs> Right, let's put down our counters. Actually, I'm going to put the fridge on the other side. Okay. Um, no, where's our fridge gone? Where's the fridge gone? Did it? No, that's not what we want. Ah, oh, it was behind there. Okay. Um... All right, let's offload. There you go. All right, let's do this properly. Take the fridge. Put it on the other side. Um, the toaster. Put it on top of one of the kitchen counters. Our cow in a jar. That's in there, isn't it? put it on another counter and then the tool racks that we have you can use that to store the stuff that we made so the bakeware the juicer what else was there the mortar and pestle and something else I can't remember but you can use the tool rack to store them in and it will connect to the kitchen. Actually, that might be a little bit too high up. I don't know. That might be a little bit too high up. Let's try. 
Oh yes, I was going to put the kitchen counter there. So let's put the tool rack here. Bakeware, juicer, mortar and pestle. I'm sure there was something else. Let's make another tool rack. Oh yeah, and the cutting board. Actually, the cutting board, you can put that in something, I think. I think, actually, you can put it... Oh, I can't remember. Okay, let's make the tool rack, and I promise I'm going to finish the... Uh... I'm going to finish fruit basket stores fruits um yeah spice we can make a spice rack as well although we don't have any spices yet tool rack and oh, we need some more iron nuggets Right, so we could make four of those. Um, the cutting board and the bakeware. So now everything is connected. Everything's attached. So we can make food. So the sandwiches can go in there. So I think you'll be able to see the sandwiches. Uh, no. Oh, we can now make yogurt. Because we have access to the cow in the jar. We can make heavy cream as well. But off camera, I'm going to make... I'm going to plant... Start planting stuff. Because I've got food. But out here, I'm going to plant the garden. And then we can start cooking things in our kitchen. And as you can see, the cow in the jar is it's storing up milk, and it will it's an infinite source of milk basically. And the toaster, it's not just decorative; you can make toast in it. So I mean, I've thought of everything, but that's our kitchen. So that's what we have done today. We've made a kitchen, and as I said, each of these counters are functional, so you use them to store your food you can get water from the sink use the cooking table to make your recipes and you can sort by name by hunger restored or by saturation and you can bake things in the cooking oven as I said I need to get some coal to put in a fuel source and well the kitchen corner just connects more ca more cabinets as it's a multi-block so I could make cabinets and put them along this wall and they will all be connected and that's it for this week so I hope you've enjoyed our little foray into the world of cooking in Minecraft it's a it's a lot better than vanilla cooking you have to admit it's better than smelting you know making steak and whatever I mean we get some really brilliant sandwiches and hamburgers and a tasty meal and pizza and see now I'm just making myself hungry but you get lots of food in with Pam's and cooking for blockheads so thanks very much for watching the video I really hope that you will like and subscribe and share with your friends and family my videos and I will see you in the next episode okay bye bye